Napa Valley is one of my very favorite wine regions. I oftentimes hear viewers complain that the wines are too expensive. While it's true that there are a number of richly priced wines in Napa Valley, there's also some excellent value to be had if you know where to look. So in this video, I'm going to reveal nine of my favorite Napa Cabernet values. These wines all offer exceptional quality for the price and compare very favorably to wines that cost far more. Catterwall Wines is an impressive producer that's the result of a collaboration between farmer and sixth generation Napa resident Matthew Hardin and famed Napa Valley winemaker Thomas Rivers Brown or TRB. Thomas Rivers Brown is definitely one of the top winemakers in Napa and is responsible for more than 50 100 point wines. Catterwall Wines does such a great job producing high quality to price ratio or QPR wines that they actually have two wines that I'll be discussing in this video. The first of which is the Catterwall Wines Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. This impressive wine sells for only around $50 a bottle. This is a wine that could easily sell for double that price and it generally receives quite favorable scores from critics such as Jeb Dunnick. In some vintages in Napa, particularly in very favorable vintages, producers can have very high yields and end up with more fruit than they knew what to do with. And so what Catterwall does is they go to their contacts and they purchase that excess fruit. And that fruit is what they're able to use to make this wine and the reason why they have such an affordable price point on it. For fans of Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon, this wine is an absolute steal at around $50 a bottle. But if you're interested in trying one of the more highly acclaimed expressions of Cabernet from Catterwall, you definitely want to consider the Ragusi Vineyards Cabernet Sauvignon as well. This is a highly acclaimed single vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon that comes from the Ragusi Ranch in Stag's Leap. The Stag's Leap AVA is one of my favorites. I really like the high acidity that you can get from some of these wines, but of course you also get intensely concentrated fruit. The saying about Stag's Leap wines is that they're compared to an iron fist in a velvet glove, and I think that description is absolutely perfect and one reason why I enjoy them so much. The fruit for this wine comes from a very small block in the Ragushi Ranch Vineyard, and Catterwall has done an excellent job improving the quality of that fruit over the past five years. And those efforts paid dividends beginning with a 2019 vintage, which received a 98-point score. So I would definitely focus on some of the more recent vintages of this offering, such as 2019, and then keep an eye out for 2021 as well. This is a wine that you can enjoy now, but it will definitely cruise in the cellar for up to two decades or so, so there's certainly no rush. The next top wine value in Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon comes from Senegal Estate. Senegal Estate was just started in 2013, but their vineyard in St. Helena has been used to make excellent quality fruit for wine since way back in the 1880s. Senegal Estate has also assembled a dream team to help with the production of their wine. Jim Barber is one of the top vineyard managers in Napa Valley, and he controls the vineyards for Senegal Estate. And the talented winemaker learned from the likes of David Abreu, Michel Roland, and Philippe Melka. So the next top wine value is the Senegal Estate Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon, which sells for around $70 to $75 per bottle. This is a Bordeaux blend that consists generally of around 80% or so Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon, but it also includes some Merlot, some Petit Verdot, Cabernet Franc, and even a little bit of Malbec. This wine matures for 20 months in 80% New French Oak before it's released. I still found some of the highly acclaimed 2019 vintage in the retail channels, so you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for that. You can enjoy this one immediately, but it will also age for up to 20 years with no problems whatsoever. And here's a quick bonus recommendation for you. Senegal Estate also makes a stellar $50 Cabernet Sauvignon from Sonoma Fruit. So Russell Bevan is an outstanding producer of Napa Valley wines. His top single vineyard bottlings routinely sell for $200 or more. But the Russell Bevan Ontogeny is my next top wine value in Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a wine that's highly acclaimed virtually every vintage and it oftentimes receives scores that are at 98 or even 99 points, and yet it sells for around $99 a bottle, so certainly outstanding quality for the price. I purchased a case of the 2012 vintage and a bunch of the 2018 vintage, and I've been extremely impressed with both wines. The 2012 is still showing beautifully today, so this is definitely one that you can age for up to 10 years or more, 
This wine is prepared using a barrel selection from some of the single vineyard wines that Russell Bevan produces. So certainly highly regarded fruit that's going into this wine. This wine easily compares to many Napa Valley Cabernets that sell for $200 or more per bottle. So it's an absolute no-brainer at this price point. If you're interested in wine recommendations, wine collecting strategies, and learning more about wine, please do subscribe to my channel. I've been collecting wine for more than 15 years and also have a level four diploma from the WSET. So I have both formal certification as well as substantial practical knowledge from the School of Hard Knocks. I first discovered Amici Cellars at Premier Napa Valley back in February. At that time, the owner was pouring some of the wines at a reception I was attending. I tasted through the lineup and the wines were consistently impressive, even in barrel sample. Amici Cellars has a number of excellent fruit sources and makes some stellar single vineyard wines, but they also have two wines that are some of my top wine values in Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. The first of which is the Amici Cellars Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. This impressive wine sells for only around $50 a bottle. Despite its relatively reasonable price point, this wine usually does quite well with critics. This is a wine that consists of around 82% Cabernet Sauvignon for the 2021 vintage, but there's also some Cab Franc, some Petit Verdot, and some Merlot included in the blend. This wine ages for around 15 months in 65% new French oak before it's released. It's a wine that is probably best with a couple additional years of bottle age. So if you get the 2021 vintage, I'd definitely let it sit on its side for a couple years. But if you find some of the 2019, you can probably dig in right away. This is definitely one of the best quality wines you can obtain in Napa Valley for $50 a bottle. Amici also makes a reserve Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon that's a top wine value at around $100 a bottle. This one has some extremely high quality fruit sources from Rutherford as well as some mountain fruit. This one is 90% Cabernet Sauvignon, but it also includes some Cabernet Franc, some Merlot, some Petit Verdot, and even a little bit of Malbec. This impressive wine ages for 20 months in 100% new French oak. It's definitely a little bit more structured, and so this one is definitely going to need some bottle age. But it's an extremely impressive wine at this price point, and one that definitely will compare favorably to wines that sell for much more. Schaefer is a world-class producer in Napa Valley that makes the iconic Hillside Select, which is one of my favorite all-time Napa Valley cabs. That wine has gone up dramatically in price, however, but fortunately, Schaefer also makes the next top wine value, which is the Schaefer TD9. This is a wine that offers extraordinary quality at around $60 per bottle. The precise blend for this wine will vary by vintage, but it generally includes slightly more than 50% of Cabernet Sauvignon, there's also a substantial Merlot percentage, as well as a little bit of Petit Verdot and Malbec. This is a big hedonistic wine, but one that's still very well balanced. It's a wine that will benefit from another year or two of additional bottle age before you start enjoying it, but it should age up to 10 years with no trouble whatsoever. The next top wine value is the Raymond Vineyards Reserve Selection Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. This impressive wine is made in extremely large quantities. Around 30,000 cases or so are produced, so it should be very easy to track down. It nevertheless offers excellent quality at around $50 per bottle, but it definitely pays to shop around as I saw some of the 2019 vintage selling for as little as $40 per bottle. The fruit for this wine comes from 14 different sites across Napa Valley, but around one-third of it is estate fruit. This wine is always more than 75% Cabernet Sauvignon, but also typically includes some Merlot, some Petit Verdot, and some Cabernet Franc, with most prices for Sauvignon Blanc from Napa Valley selling for around $40 or more. It's an absolute no-brainer to get a Cabernet Sauvignon of this quality for that price point. If you're visiting Napa Valley, Raymond Vineyards is also definitely worth considering as a potential visit, as they have a number of innovative programs, and I really enjoyed my visit to this producer. Philip Titus is the longtime talented winemaker at Chapelet, which is one of my favorite Napa Valley producers. But along with his brother Eric, Philip also owns Titus Vineyards. And the Titus Vineyards Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon is my next top wine value. This wine sells for around $60 a bottle, but definitely compares favorably to wines that sell for much more than that. This is a Bordeaux blend that consists of around 80% or so of Cabernet Sauvignon, but also has some Merlot, some Malbec, and Petit Verdot. 
My strategy for this wine is to give it an extra year or two of bottle age and then to enjoy it over 10 years or so. It's definitely a very age-worthy wine and certainly a very impressive wine at this price point. If you're a fan of Napa Valley like I am and you'd like to know more of my Napa Valley wine recommendations, be sure to check the video in the pinned comment below.